Hi everybody and welcome back to the Trico Lube Room. Today we're going to talk about the features and the operation of the high viscosity filter cart. So today we have a simulated storage tank that's filled with 320 gear oil. We're going to use our high viscosity filter cart to show you how to filter that oil. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to run for a little bit and then we're going to show you some of the features that are built into the filter cart and how to use them. But before we get started, I just want to note that best practices would tell you that you want to use a dedicated filter cart for each viscosity of oil and each type of oil. If you don't have dedicated systems, the potential for cross-contamination becomes a lot greater. But if having a dedicated filter system for each type of oil isn't possible, you're going to want to make sure that you flush that system out with a new type of oil that you're going to be filtering. This will clear out all of the old oil that you used previously. So on our tank, we've set up the inlet and the outlet with quick neck hydraulic fittings. We're gonna put the outlet on the bottom here, and we're gonna put the inlet back on the top on the opposite corner. This will help recirculation of the oil and help to flip it six or seven times. Your inlet hose to this filter system is gonna be designated by the one that's closest to the pump head. Your outlet hose will be the one that's on the outside of the T fitting here on the back side. So the operational flow arrows here on the handle will show you which direction your flow is going to go. Right now it's showing this way, so it's going to come up here and flow out here right in bypass mode. If we change it to this way, now the arrows are going this way, showing that the flow is going into the filters, down through the second set, out the backside here, and out. So we'll go ahead and start by hooking up our inlet to the filter system out of the bottom here. We'll hook up our return line to the tank on the top. So now we're going to go ahead and plug in our filter cart, but we want to make sure it's on a 20 amp circuit so we're not tripping any breakers. So since we're going to want to filter this oil, once again we want to make sure that we're in the filtration mode. So let's go ahead and power it up, and obviously right here is your on off switch. So on the front panel here you're going to see three gauges. These three gauges are very important to the efficiency of how the filters are working. These two filters here work together in parallel, and then in series they go down to the next two set of filters that are also working in parallel. If one of the filters is bad, both of the filters are bad. And the way to tell if the filters are bad is watching these three gauges. So when we start up the system, these three gauges will begin to rise. Once we're in operation mode, we're going to want to periodically monitor these three gauges. So the first gauge here is connected to the top filter head. This will give you the inlet pressure to these filters. The second filter gauge is connected to the top of the second filter heads. That gives you the outlet pressure of these two filters, and it also gives you the inlet pressure of these two filters. The third gauge is connected to the outlet pressure of the second set of filters. The differential pressure between the inlet and outlet of the top two filters will give you an indication of when it's time to change those filters. When these two gauges read out a differential pressure of 42 PSI, that means this top head is in full bypass and is no longer traveling through the filters. It's time to change those filters. Similarly, with the second set of filters, you're looking at the inlet and outlet pressures of those two filters. In the same way, if the differential pressure between the second and the third gauge reach 42 PSI, it's time to change those two filters. Another feature of the filter cart is that there's three different sample ports on this filtration unit. One is in the top head before it filters, one is in the second head when it's passed through the first set of filters, and the last one is on the back side here when it's already passed through both sets of filters. So once the system starts running, it's good to take a sample from the top filter here so you know exactly where you started. And conversely, when you're done filtering, you want to take a sample from the outlet port back here so you can see what you ended up with. So when we talk about how long to run the filter cart, you want to run the filter cart long enough to flip your stored oil six or seven times. Right now we have about 24 gallons in here, and we have a four gallon per minute pump, so it takes about six minutes to flip that oil one time. So we want to multiply that by six or seven, so it gives about 36 to 42 minutes that we want to run this cart to make sure this oil is perfectly clean. So after our 40 minutes are up, we can turn the unit off, disconnect the hoses, and move on to our next job. So let's just talk about the filters for a second. Our filter systems come standard with 10 micron filters on the top 
and water filters on the bottom. You want to make sure that whatever filters you're using, that the largest micron filters are on top and any water filters that you're going to use are on the bottom. There are different size particulate filters available. You just want to make sure that you have the right one for your application. Since we have a 320 gear oil, we don't necessarily need to go down to a 3 micron. We're probably better off with a 5, 10, or 20 micron filter. But if you're using a hydraulic system and hydraulic oil, you'll probably want to get down to the 3 and 5 and maybe 10 micron size filters. You can always consult Trico or your equipment manufacturer to determine what filter size is best for you. So now that we've shown you how to filter the oil in your storage tank, now we can show you how to set it up for just getting rid of the oil once it's spent. So we'll take off the return line off of the top. So we'll take our return line and hook it up to our waste oil drum. Just make sure the drum is vented to relieve any pressure. So now that our oil is just going to waste, we don't need to filter it anymore, so let's put it back into bypass mode and start it up until the tank is empty. That about wraps up the features and operation of the high viscosity filter cart. If you have any questions about how to select a filtration system, please see our video on selecting a filter system. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.